ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know what we got going on here? It's a doggone Gretsch party. <laughs> We're kicking it so old school here at Wildwood Guitars. I'm here with Joe Carducci from Gretsch, kind of the, I'm gonna say commander in chief of the, getting the Gretsch message out there to the peeps, right? I do my best. And you do an excellent job, my friend. Always a pleasure <laughs> to see you. We're here in the Wildwood Lair to discuss some exciting activities for the Gretsch world and Brian Setzer, Brian Setzer fans. Brian Setzer's a cool cat. Way cool. See what I did there? Cat thing, right, what? <laughs> And extraordinary guitar player, tone smith extraordinaire, entertainer extraordinaire. That he is. And there's some fun things going on with him and Gretsch this year. Lay it on us, what's going down? All Give right. it to me. Well, what you're holding there is the new Brian Setzer Hot Rod model guitar. Uh, the significant changes that have taken place is uh, number one, the new TV Jones Brian Setzer signature model pickups. You know, I'm uh, just a little curious about these new Brian Setzer signature TV Jones pickups. What else can you tell us about these delightful specimens? Well, you know, the, the pickups themselves were uh, the brainchild was started from TV Jones. And uh, whenever Brian goes out on the road, his guitars go to TV Jones and he sets them up. Oh, no kidding. And he experiments. Uh, he was experimenting with the pickups and kind of sneaking them on the guitars to Brian. And, and Brian shared the story. He goes, yeah, we get my guitars. And all of a sudden, bam, these things were sounding different. And I was thinking that it was probably the room or something that made them, the color of it sounded different. And uh, after a couple of shows, I would talk to TV and go, hey, what's up with that? And and uh, uh, TV acknowledged that, yeah, I've been taking some liberties with your pickups and I think I'm on to something. And Brian goes, man, this thing rocks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's how that came about. It was a direct uh, uh, relationship with TV Jones, personally with TV Jones and Brian Setzer that came up with the new pickups. And I might add too that the pickups now come stock on all our uh, new uh, uh, Nashville model, uh, Brian Setzer models and the Black Phoenix as well. Uh -huh. So they're all strapped with these delightful flux capacitor infested pickups of doom. Indeed. Excellent, well it's good to know by God. Another significant change now on hot rods. The previous hot rods, the body depth were only two and a half inches. These are now a full two and three quarter inches. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, they feature, of course, uh, uh, new colors. You'll also notice that the, the, uh, the hot rod models are featuring uh, flame maple top, back, and side Which bodies. Is beautiful beyond words. And, Intoxicating. And obviously you've noticed too, since you turned the guitar over, Gretsch is famous for our two-tone mm -hmm. guitars. There we go. That, made fa that we made famous with the anniversary models. But you notice what we've done here with the Brian Setzer models, uh, it was an idea of his, was doing a matching top and back in the primary colors. And then the sides, sides of the guitar and the back of the neck is in a secondary color. Yes. This particular color happens to be Harbor Blue. Harbor Blue. Which came from a, a, a 1959 Cadillac uh, a catalog that we uh, found. And in fact, some of the other colors that we're featuring came from that same catalog. Indeed. So uh, uh, what you're holding here is Harbor Blue. I'm harboring lust for this <laughs> instrument as we speak, my friend. Here I'm holding here now. This is called Highland Green. Again, the front and the back of the guitar is the primary color with the sides of the guitar and the back of the neck in the secondary color. Delicious. And of course the back of the guitar uh, in, in has uh, Brian's signature on the back. A powerful moniker <laughs> adorning that headstock. Other featured uh, player-friendly uh, 
uh, notable items are, of course, pin bridges. Yeah, so you can treat it like a farm animal. It just says, <laughs> and it just says, bring it. It does not move about when you're bend strings like Albert King, as you do sometimes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about these glorious tuners. Absolutely, uh, shallower locking tuners, and of course they feature that big neural nut back there that you can grip nicely to lock down the uh, strings for yes. stabilize the tuning, and also to help stabilize the tuning, the sets or hot rod models feature a Delrin nut that has a inch and 11 16th uh, width on it. And uh, another unique thing about all the Brian Setzer models that's noteworthy uh, is that they all feature a nine and a half inch radius. Oh, cool. And uh, whereas all the other Gretsch guitars that are in our catalog are 12 inch radius. And uh, another thing that Brian has mixed it up here is uh, traditionally uh, Gretsch guitars that had an ebony fretboard, which the hot rods do, mm -hmm. there was always an ebony bridge base. Oh. Uh, in this case, Brian's mixing it up where he had ebony fretboard with a rosewood base. And of course, as I mentioned, that the bridge base is pinned. Right. So again, to maintain stability, when you bang on the guitar, right. the bridge isn't going to move and it stays in tune nicely. It's a glorious looking guitar. Absolutely. Um, of course, we, we were talking about this particular model, which is Harbor Blue, and we showed you Roman Red and Highland Green. Another two-tone color that we offer it in is uh, uh, another Cadillac color from 1959. It was called Tuxedo Black. So the, the, uh, the uh, translucent Tuxedo Black uh, top and back, and the sides are painted like an ivory color that's translucent as well. Excellent. Very stunning. And for those guys that think that may be a little too pretentious, we offer for the uh, a hot rod also in a completely bl uh, tuxedo black finish, top, back, and sides, and the back of the neck. Beautiful instruments. I almost forgot, too, that you'll notice that the headstock face matches the top of the oh, guitar, yeah, 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 which yeah, yeah, is yeah. also flame maple. Very, very cool looking guitar. Joe, is there anything under the hood, if you will, that's lurking, that's new about these guitars that the listener may want to know? Well, certainly, uh, uh, but not least, uh, uh, what's important to note is that that didn't change is underneath the hood, uh, we maintain the 1959 style trestle bracing that Gretsch uh, uh, incorporated into their guitars in the Brooklyn, New York era. So really, these guitars are made to play loud. And, Which but, is good. and trestle bracing, people go, why? Wow, what's the deal with trestle bracing? Why does it exist? Really, it helps. Uh, 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 stiffen the top mm -hmm. and uh, keeps it from howling when you play it at loud volumes, but yet the guitar still has an openness to it and it just adds to the over overall color and tone of the guitar. Cool. It's part of the DNA of the instrument. If you will. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's talk a little bit about the availability of these things, and is it going to be? A, is it a limited run thing? No, this is this is the new Brian Setzer Hot Rod a model guitars that are that uh, the old ones that as we knew them, the colors that we offered them are now no longer available, uh -huh. and then now this has now taken the place of the old Setzer models with these new features, and. Uh, uh, one more thing to point out as far as color wise, uh, a couple years ago Brian was on tour with a green sparkle hot rod guitar that we did custom for him. Mm -hmm. It's now a stock color oh. in the hot rods. So it's a green uh, trans, it's a, it's a, it's a I, can't, I can't just say it's green at one point. Point, we were calling it uh, 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 radiator coolant green because it kind of has a green yellowish sure. tint to it and it's really a knockout guitar man and it's uh, 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 that's another finish that's not a limited production it's part of the guitar line now and uh, and moving forward that's our offerings for the new hot rods excellent well I'll tell you what they sound and look glorious these new pickups are fantastic as well Wicked. I can dig it. Here with Joe Carducci. I'm Greg Koch here in the Wildwood Lair on a beautiful Wednesday morning, isn't it? That it is. It's Gretsch Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen, here at Wildwood. Greg Koch with Joe Carducci. Out. We're going to go get tattoos right after this.